Thank you so much for joining with me. We are picking up our reading in Journey through the text of A Course in Miracles by Dr. Ken Wapnick, Ph.D. And this is Chapter 7, The Gift of the Kingdom. We are picking up our reading in the oneness of God. He is first in the sense that he is the first in the Holy Trinity itself. He is the prime creator because he created his co-creators. Because he did, time applies neither to him nor to what he created. Within the Trinity, there is no first, second, or third person. Jesus uses the Trinitarian language of Christianity because that is the world for which his course is written. In truth, as we have seen, these are mere symbols for there is no Father, Son, or Holy Spirit. Our experience is of a Trinity, a helpful experience indeed. But its only real purpose, sorry about that, its only real purpose is to help us move beyond the symbols to the experience of God's living and loving oneness, in which we know that nothing exists outside it. As a creation of God, our true reality and self are outside time. And Jesus clearly is not speaking of our physical, psychological self when he speaks of us as Christ, co-creator with God. The last step that God will take was therefore true in the beginning, is true now, and will be true forever. What is timeless is always there, because its being is eternally changeless. It does not change by increase, because it was forever created to increase. To repeat, increase is a symbol for the abundance of love in the sense that it is everything, the only thing. This means that nothing happened or intervened between God and his increase, his son. Ideas leave not their source. God's changeless son could never have left his changeless source, which would have forever changed his eternal self into an ever-changing creature of time, prey to the inevitable fate of gradual decay and certain death. If you perceive it as not increasing, you do not know what it is. You also do not know who created it. This includes all of us who are unknowing of our Creator and His extension. We remain blind prisoners of our own wrong-minded decision to exist in the world of perception. There are relatively few passages like this one in the text because we cannot understand heaven's oneness. Yet there are many passages, as we will see, about the reflection of this oneness. Finally, we read of the law of creation. In the kingdom there is no teaching or learning because there is no belief. There is only certainty. God and his sons, in the surety of being, know that what you extend you are. That form of the law is not adapted at all, being the law of creation. God himself created the law by creating by it, and his sons who create like him Follow it gladly, knowing that the increase of the kingdom depends on it, just as their own creation did. The certainty of God is found in his creation as certain as its source. God's extension, Christ, likewise extends in a circle of creation that has no end and no beginning. God, like love, simply is. Yet, because we believe in the ego's lies of separation and specialness, we need to be taught to see through the ego's veils of deception, learning to accept that the principle of atonement, the separation never occurred, is the truth. Heaven's certainty cannot be taught. 
but we can learn to remove the obstacles of guilt and attack that have hindered our remembrance of the creating self that God established as his son. I'm going to go ahead and stop there today, and we will pick up on the atonement principle tomorrow. Thank you. Have a beautiful day. I love you. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas.